This morning I met with uh, Horsham District Council amongst my other meetings. It's a regular session I have with uh, the leader, Jonathan Chowan, and his team. Uh, we've talked about some of the help that HDC is providing to those most in need. We've got a well-run local council and they are being able to use some of their resources to support organisations that is providing very real help uh, to local residents, something I very much support and I'm delighted uh, that they've made those allocations and are supporting people at a time of hardship. We also, of course, spoke about the planning issues uh, that are very much the focus of people's concern here in Horsham, as they are across a lot of the south of England. But we in Horsham are different. Uh, we have a very profound issue with water neutrality. Uh, that's not something which HTC or anyone locally has come up with. That's a concern that's been voiced by Natural England, a very serious environmental body, and they've made it clear that planning permissions cannot be granted unless they meet the conditions around water neutrality, which are very hard conditions to meet. And this is driven by real concerns about our aquifer. So we may all see speculative applications being made, uh, and I dare say uh, there may be even more of them. And I, I, I regret that because it is worrying and concerning to local residents. But as far as I can see, uh, whilst this ban from Natural England remains in place, uh, permission cannot be granted uh, for uh, housing development or any other form of development that doesn't meet the really quite severe constraints of water neutrality. That's not the end of the story because work needs to be done and HTC are looking very carefully, I know, at what water neutrality means, uh, what the implications are. Uh, whether we will be able to build houses and there are houses that are needed and required for uh, local people but what number could be met within the constraints of water neutrality and as we look to the future about what water companies can do and should be doing in order to increase our water resources locally. So this is a very very complex picture. A lot of good work is being done and I support HDC in doing that really thorough analysis. I've encouraged them to do it. I'm delighted they're still doing it and they've got to do the work and make certain it's thorough and will stand up. But until that work is done, as far as I can see, these applications that are being made are purely speculative and appear not to recognise the very real constraints put on local development, rightly, by Natural England. <laughs>